Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start today's video, we want to say a massive thank you to Dashlane for sponsoring today's video. Dashlane is basically the easiest way to store all your passwords and all your information so it can easily be auto-filled. It's actually something that we never thought about was you know protecting our passwords and it probably is going to sound really stupid that we've never thought of that. When you're on the go all the time, you need your passwords to be protected. If someone hacks into that because you're using so many different Wi-Fi's and IP addresses, if someone gets one of your passwords, they're gonna get all of them. So what Dashlane does is it stores all your passwords for you um, and only you have the password to your account. Dashlane doesn't even know your password to your account. Dashlane is free. Uh, it's a free app, you can get it on your mobile, you can get it on your desktop. Um, using our link in the description, click that link, download the app for free and you can get a 30 day free trial for the premium version. Now, if you fall in love with the premium version, which I'm pretty sure you will, then you will get 10% off using our code, which is Dablin Travel. However, it's absolutely fine to use the free app as well because I have the app here on my phone. Honestly, it's so helpful. So it comes up like this, if you can see, um, and then you have to enter your master password. So it's locked on the app. So that means someone else couldn't just go on your app and get all your, your details. And then here, you can see, if I can find it, you can see my users there. So you can add different devices onto your app. You can use it on the desktop and it's just so handy. We never realized the need for A, password security and B, auto filling. So when we're booking flights and hotels, right, I have to sit there and type out passport details credit card details, our address, the same details every single time. With Dashlane, it auto fills it. So I don't need to keep doing that. It saves me so much time, so much effort, and it means that it's not gonna be wrong because it's saved. So yeah, remember that Dashlane is a free app for mobile and desktop. Remember that it's free. I don't know if I've said that, it's free. So you can download the free version using the link in our description box below and you'll get a 30 day free trial of the premium just to try it out. If you don't wanna get the premium, you can use the free app on your phone, on your desktop, and that's fine because it's still a brilliant app. But if you do want the premium, you get 10% off with the code Dublin Travel. So yeah, big thanks to Dashlane. You've opened our eyes to things that we, we didn't realize we needed. But let's get back to exploring Sicky Hall. Technically it's not actually morning, it's more afternoon. We've had a bit of a late start today. Um, we went cruising around this morning just for a, just to be chill actually. Wakes we? you up, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. We, we were a little bit tired, um, but we have made it to Lugnathon Falls and there is no one else here. As you can see, um, we're literally the only bike. I think one of the bikes is actually owned by the ones dealing with the parking, which is really, really good. Um, it's just off the main road, so it's really easy to find. Yeah, it's just we'll show you the route here. on the way back, I we'll think. We'll show you the route on the way here, but I think we have a 10 to 15 minute hike down. I don't know if I'm ready for this. But before you head into the falls, you've got to come and check out Jerome's art. It is incredible. He's literally right in front of the falls. You cannot miss him. So this is my little art here. It's like the art shop. And you did this yourself? Yeah, yes. I did it yourself for six months. This is like more than 40 months. Hand car. Yeah, hand this is incredible. Car. Six months. Six months car. Wow. This is my commercial arts. This is my voodoo dolls. You know, oh, guys. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, Got to have the voodoo dolls in Sydney. Yeah, you know, about the, the, the voodoo, voodoo dolls, dolls, the witches, yeah. the, the shamans. A little masterpiece here. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to come here just for the show. Yeah, yeah. And you now know that when you come here, you need to check out Jerome. They're all really, really nice. All volunteers as well. Don't even need to pay for parking. You can, uh, you can give a donation. But we're heading into the trail now. It's like. What is it? A Zodiac Falls? Yeah, Zodiac Falls. Zodiac Falls, but there's a few. I'm, I'm a bit confused here. And then you've got the nature trail map as well. And there's an area for each different Zodiac. So I presume this could be quite big and we could get quite lost. this little hike and it is Lugnathon Falls. Um, 
it looks like a mini Kawasan when you look at the colour. Pretty, isn't it? It's so pretty. Like, I still struggle to believe that any of the Gatorade water we see is real. Um, it actually was restored in 2015. So loads of volunteers come and restored it all. And you can see that there's loads of nice steps everywhere. There's, like, adventure trails. So you can follow different colour flags to find out which way you want to go. But I think we should just explore some more. And, hold on, before we explore... We've got the whole oh, yeah, I forgot thing today. to ourselves. Lovely. We're not going to go for a swim here because the spot that we Want to have see. seen, that people have been to, which we'll talk about if we find it. Actually, I'm not good at this right now. <laughs> I went to do Mugetti before I do all this. So you're not used? I'm not used to it. You got it's it? It's my first time since really? four months You've ago. You've got this? I'm scared now. <laughs> well, I mean. Three, two, oh, God, one. God. An ally has slain Lord! <laughs> were nuts. They put me to shame after my after my performance yesterday. Have completely put oh me to God, shame. Oh they were so crazy. Literally. Oh, I'm gonna slip ag again. Oh. Sliders aren't the best idea. Yeah, they just turned up. Loads of locals turn up. They're just doing flips and you everything. Just, they're, but they're so used to these amazing waterfalls. Me and you would just paddle and be like, oh. This is oh. nice. Yeah. Oh God, I nearly fell. That is it. Um, but we're walking around to the second spot here. We're not gonna do the, t the 12 zodiac falls today. I don't think. Apparently they're quite dried up. We're going to try and find this local spring, but quite a few locals have walked past us. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to find it because we've heard it's only 200 meters from here. This is honestly so beautiful. And the fact that there's so many people chilling out and it's not touristy is unreal. Like if you can see behind me, they're all chilling out, having a really good time. And we're also having a really good time with them. Um, and the waters are so cold. It's like fresh springs. It's just amazing to have this so close to us and we didn't even know it was there is unreal. amazing i felt like a proper filipino local no other tourists molly even dipped her feet we are making progress <laughs> we are making progress molly nearly swam um but yeah really incredible but we are heading from there to a very touristy spot we're going back to san juan to get some lunch i'm starving after that five minute hike i'm very unfit this is needed i've gone for san miguel lemon today because we always go for San Miguel light we always have tandoori and coke so I'm going for something a little bit different a little bit refreshing but we've made it to monkey business we wanted to try this because we saw all the swings outside as you can see but that was amazing I love finding places that are not touristy we love to be around everyone just having a good time um, and not just standing there for pictures it was amazing but we're not going to show you the route because you need to find it out for yourself and we don't want more tourists going there. But we've both ordered, what did we get? Spicy rice. Spicy rice, it's very barley in here, isn't it? It's very barley-esque, yeah. It's really like, the word would be like jungly, indie sort of themed, shargawi vibes. It's doing it for me, I'm enjoying it. I feel very chill. How 
good does that look? We went oh. two spicy fried rice. It looks so good. Loving the wooden bowls. I told you, very barley-esque, very shargawi, but that looks, oh, I'm not, I'm not even B-rolling it. it. It speaks for itself. It looks amazing. Banging. But yeah, we're gonna eat this and then get to the touristy beach. Wow. The food was unreal. Really so, spicy so though, I got the right sweat. So it's a good job that we've made it here. To Peloton Beach and stroke Little Boracay. They're both next to each other. It wasn't the easiest to find. It isn't actually the most signposted. Look for a mini basketball court and cut down. Um, There's no signpost actually. Yeah, no, There's we, nothing. But we, <laughs> we have made, made it. it, we have made it. As you can see as well, it's actually not that busy, is it? No, a handful of people, when we first got here, about two minutes ago, there was not that many people. More people have arrived now. I think it might be a good place to watch sunset, do you think? Yeah, you can see Apple Island further past them boats. It's definitely the sunset spot. Seems have, very calm. Yeah, you have got a few things set up, like the bent palm tree and a cut the swings for tourists. But, and there's a little love heart there, which looks really, really nice. But there's probably about, what, 10, would you say? 10 or 15 tourists here? Majority of the people here are locals, which is really, really nice. but Molly's now getting a tripod out as she wants a photo by it. Yeah, well I don't want a photo on the palm tree because that's what everyone yeah, does. Yeah, the palm tree's battered, isn't it? Yeah, the poor palm tree is like almost dying. So what I want to do is just get all the really nice palm trees in the shot as well. With that palm tree? With that palm tree, yeah. Got to give it some credit. Photos got. That was my walking and getting photos posed if you didn't already know. Good timing as well. The sun is actually going behind the clouds now, so the sun was on us was for perfect. the perfect shot. Oh, and yeah, if you haven't seen it, Instagram. follow our Instagram Double. at Dublin Travel and Travel. Catch. <laughs> oh, that was so nice because our video didn't post last night. We posted it this morning, so this evening there was no editing for Molly, and there was no drinking for me. <laughs> I drink while Molly edits um, and I'm riding the bike out tonight. The beach was incredible, um, amazing, nowhere near as busy as I believed it would be and the waterfall and the fresh spring, highly recommend it but not telling where it is. You can find out for yourself, we said the name of it, you can find the hike and do it because we don't want too many tourists ending up there. Um, but heading out for dinner, we are going to Coco Grove. I can only have one beer because I'm driving the ped. Molly can have as many tander wise and beers as she wants, but yeah, Coco Grove. This place is absolutely crazy. So we've made it to Coco Grove. Um, it was only about five minutes on the road um, on the bike from us, so it was really easy, but it is huge. It's there's, massive. There's two entrances, I think, um, and I did wonder when we've driven past it whether it's connected or not. It's connected. We're sitting at one of the beach uh, restaurants. It's one of like the five. Yeah, there's so many. Um, and we've looked down and the beach goes on for miles. It really is its own massive resort. We've ended up being boring. We've gone for pizza again. But I've got my one beer for the night as I'm designated driver. But this place is incredible. On the beach, food absolutely devoured. <sighs> Obviously, we were boring again, pizza, but very, very nice place. Wi-Fi isn't as good as our place at Infinity Sands. Obviously, we're gonna go back there and see our dogs in a little bit. Hopefully, they're still awake. There was actually a uh, fire show on the beach, which is why the restaurant we have to ourselves. But, never mind, um, food devoured. And I wanna go back because I need another beer, so I'll see you back at our place. And we're back at my favorite place, Matt can finally have a beer. Because he was riding the motorbike, he did only want to have one beer, um, just in case it got too wobbly, because we can't balance that well as it is. But I'm surrounded by my friends. You've got one there, and you've got two little babies there. They're so cute. They actually yapped, well, one yapped when she saw us coming, which was really cute. But got San Miguel Light, listening to the waves, the perfect way to chill out this evening. And that was the last beer in Sikihor. 
Sorry, I believe I'm it is. Sorry, light here. Sorry, yeah, it is really, really dark. The music is off. The bar is about to end, so we're going to get kicked out. We're actually heading to Bahol tomorrow. We're very, very excited. We weren't supposed to say anything. I'm telling you, we, 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 <laughs> I'm bored of these surprises. We don't want to keep surprising you. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, want to see vlogs in Bahol, hit that subscribe, drop us a like. And keep on doubling. And good night from these. Where are they? These two. This way? There.